start. Hello friends and family and welcome to the 2022 Myrtle Beach Open presented by Gatekeeper Media, driven by Innova. We are here at the Splinter City Disc Golf Course in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm Holly Finley. And I'm Felix Vega, based from Productions, joining Holly here. We saw a scorching front nine from this card so far. And now we move on to the back nine as the spider continues to build its web. Starting off on hole 10, it's a par three, 288 feet. Bit of a tight gap on the right side, the left-hand side, a little bit more open. Really just a stock straight shot to the green here itself. The sandy green, if you saw the front nine, should slow down the actual speed of the disc coming in, leaving you with a look for birdie. It's definitely one you wanna to try to get a look at to start your back nine. Dan Carey up first, choosing the left gap for the slight turnover shot. She's not getting oh, any sort no. of finish, but she'll be in bounds with a long look at it. Yeah, it looks like she stayed in bounds. No graphic popped up, so she should be okay. This looks very good. And this is a shorter tee than what we've played in years past. Did you guys have a chance to practice this uh, ahead of time? Of yes. Okay. And Jessica with a nice hyzer flip like we've seen. We've, I've learned her game so far. I mm -hmm. know her disc is going to go towards the basket and then have a very lazy left finish. She's most of the time getting a putt for birdie. Rebecca turning the same, choosing the same shot that turnover through the left gap. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at right that. Right behind you. Come hang out, Rebecca. <laughs> We got this very busy road behind Deanne here. She lays this one up close to the pin. Smart play. Mm -hmm. To that giant tree blocking her line too. Let's go. Oh, yes. and it falls in. Jessica Beckett drops it in on the left side. Sneaks that birdie in. Giving some love to the basket there. <laughs> Beckett with her birdie look. Count it. Nicely done. Holly with a birdie look as well. Oh, a little left side pushes out. Bangs home the par putt there. Four birdies on the day on this hole. Just played a little bit below average at a 2.79. Deanne Carey tapping in her par here on hole 10. Deanne still currently in the lead at 600 par. Rebecca getting a little closer with that birdie herself. Let's check out hole 11. Par four, 543 feet. This is one of my favorite holes on the course. You have a ton of lanes to choose from. Just decide which gap is gonna serve you best and send it, uh, get as far as you can. And if you make it to the road, you've got a great shot. That'll leave you with a nice upshot into the basket. And again, there's just tons of lanes to choose from. Left, middle, right, low, hyzer, you know, like tomahawk, it's just, it's a great design, it's a great hole. I absolutely love playing it. It is a par four, but I'm hoping to see some threes here. Jessica sends a drive out into the field. That'll set up nice. It looks like the grace again here for Rebecca. Pushing that Look right how side. much ground play you get. I mean, that was a hundred feet Absolutely. of skidding on the ground. Yeah. That's what I love about touring all over the country. You get to 
learn all the different types of terrain and how to play them accordingly. Deanne Carey with a full send Ooh. using a shrike, and she gets right in front of the road. That's a great shot from Deanne. You're following pretty much the same line, just missing the branch that she clipped. And oh, oh a I little just, closer. Just a little. <laughs> Jessica shot. She really leaned into that one and it mm -hmm. held that turnover Dead. angle. So she'll be up there with a long look at Birdie if she decides to go for it. And pushing the right side, trying to sneak in around those last guardians and does so beautifully. She'll have a putt for Birdie. Mm hmm. Rebecca's drive was amazing. She kind of faked me out there. I thought she was going to right side. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and she skids it up to the wood. Mm -hmm. Great job. I thought you were eyeing that center gap too. And I was like, oh, never mind. Right side. Beautifully done. Oh, now she's got to try to putt over this fallen tree here. She's got that great floaty putt. Mm -hmm. Get there. Oh, just short. Easy par. Mm -hmm. Deanne Carey for birdie. From about 20. She gets it. Beautifully done. Picking up where she left off on the front. Getting another birdie. Beautiful birdie for yourself there, Holly. Becca coming in to tap in her birdie. Mm -hmm. And Jessica with the par. So three out of four birdies. They're an attackable hole coming in at 3.64 scoring average for this round. most memorable moment with the DX Rock was, well, it happened right here at Oak Grove. I got my first hole in one with a DX Rock with an orange one that was about this color when I first got it. I threw that thing all the time until I got my first ace and that's what really got me hooked on the DX Rock was how straight I could make it fly, how well I could control it, and how predictable it was. All right, and we move on to hole 12. This is a tough one, a par three, 390 feet, basically a straight shot through this center gap here. Your disc is gonna, it's gonna wanna tend to fade out a little bit more to the left. You don't wanna make the mistake of pushing it over to the right though. You wanna stay as much as you can in the center line itself, giving you an easy jump putt approach or possibly a long look at it too if you can push far enough. There is also out of bounds behind the basket, which can come into play, especially on the up shots. The current card, not to take anything away from anybody, but none of us can throw 390 uh, on a whim, on a low ceiling right. straight line. <laughs> so I know that most of these ladies are going to be playing this for a safe par. So that's uh, something you can count on. Just like you said, I prefer to just play it straight, as straight as possible, mm -hmm. <laughs> which gives you a nice easy upshot. And it's usually kind of windy by that basket, so I like to get my upshot as close as possible. Becca has a good shot, Deanne has a good shot, and I'm trying to just copy theirs and get as far down there as possible. Yeah, you really just want to avoid the trees left and right. Just keep it in the center, take your upshot from there. This one's got a little bit of turn on it, but she's got a wide open lane on that right side as well to approach the basket. Jessica sends a smooth up shot into the green. She'll have about a seven footer for par. Good approach there from Rebecca from a knee. Never easy when you're in such an awkward position like that. Deanne chips her up. She'll have about a 16 footer.
lay up all the way there or are you giving it a half bit? Oh, all the way okay. lay up. No <laughs> chance. Becca cleans up for par. It's a great putt. There's so many other birdies on the course. There's no reason to be greedy and go mm. for a 65 footer, you know, Yeah. especially Smart. with that OB right by. And yeah. And the drop in par. But no stress par, mm -hmm. everybody's fave. <laughs> So everybody under par so far for the round on this yeah, opening round. No scoring changes after hole 12. Let's check out hole 13. This is a par three, 318 feet. Several gaps to choose from, depending on what style of player you have. These are all right hand, backhand players. So you'll see all of us taking a hyzer shot or you just throw the disc flat straight through the widest gap on the right side. Let the disc finish left. Just like you've heard us say, let the disc do the work. Mm -hmm. Swing into the green and give yourself a birdie putt. Rebecca Cox up first. Looks like her bear, which is an eight speed stable driver. She hits the gap, Ooh. swings it in. Okay. Nice. About a 12 footer mm -hmm. for Rebecca Cox. That's what you're looking for. Deanne Carey with a Valkyrie. One of my favorite molds. I love the Valkyrie. Even though she did clip a little twig, she still gets up there for a putt. Mosquitoes hanging around, checking out the action. Yeah, I don't think they bought tickets, though. <laughs> oh, and Holly pures it. And okay, 10 feet, if yeah. that. Ooh, Jessica ah, left proved gap. me wrong. Look at oh, that. Oh, tree, get out of the way. I really wanted to see the flight of that. Me too. And oh. you saw she just sent that one a little too high mm -hmm. right into the canopy and it kicked her down. So up we have Deanne Carey for birdie. Giving it a jumper. Mm. Not quite enough gas, but she'll have a drop in par. Jumper for Jessica as well. Puts it right by the bullseye. Becca getting a birdie <laughs> here on hole 13. Beautifully done there. Carrie cleans up her par putt. Very nicely done. Birdies for Rebecca and Holly, two of the four carded on this hole. Cassandra Loy again, and Sandra Richardson getting the birdies on hole 13. Great job, ladies. Great job indeed. Hole 14, a par three, 316 feet through this initial gap here where the trees are. You can also swing a little wider hyzer if you're not feeling that. There is out of bounds on the left hand side if you're trying to go left hand turnover. So that's something to keep in mind. And there's also out of bounds behind the basket itself. A bit of a ditch kind of collects and funnels discs about 15 to 20 feet from the basket. Shouldn't be an issue getting your putt clean from there though. These ladies are just trying to rip something towards it and give themselves a look for that too. Rebecca Cox up first. She sends it too far right. The disc is overstable, so it should finish, but it's gonna need a harder finish. Mm. And that's a putt, but it is a scary one. Yeah, it is. Ooh, it's windy, surrounded by OB, elevated. Yeah. You're stepping up and ripping one beautifully, getting a little turn to the right. Just need some fade. Perfect. And you're basically right, just in that 15, 20 foot range where that ditch is. Deanne Carey sends an overstable driver out to the right side, looking for that left swing. She Ooh. gets it. She's flirting with that back OB. Ooh, she has about a 10-footer. 
Beckett sends a drive. Nice hyzer finish. Perfectly in the fairway. Mm -hmm. This hole does have a thousand dollar ace bounty on it. It does? It I didn't does. know that. Yeah. Nobody told me. <laughs> well, now you know for the final round. And as we've seen, Rebecca Cox is taking no part in any long putts today. She pitches it up to the base. So she'll be dropping in a par. Beautiful putt there. Nice birdie. Deanne Carey also putting for birdie. She gets it. Mm -hmm. Very nicely done. Deanne's second birdie here on the back nine. Beckett with a nice easy par putt here on hole 14. Drop in par there for Rebecca. Keeping her at four down. I love the basket base wrap. Yeah. With the pink <laughs> and the dirty myrtle and the flamingo. New South Brewing. Here we are, hole 15, par three, 333 feet, double Mando. There's a couple of different lanes to choose from. The left looks, uh, for me, instinctually, uh, the proper choice because it's the largest and it finishes in a nice open field. However, I found to get the birdie, I have to take the right gap, uh, which is sort of a sneaky gap I saw Deanne take last year. She was the only one that got a birdie. I tried it out worked out great so <laughs> off the tee it looks a little intimidating but if you hit the gap oh. you've snuck way up there no kidding but what you need is a left finish to get you to the mound and get you an easy putt so Deanne taking that right gap it's like a carbon copy of yours just fading a little bit more at the end like you said and look at that up oh, on the no. dirt mound it just doesn't get any better than that it's hard to tell from this angle. We, even when you're on the tee, you look at that left gap and you're like, oh, it's a left hand, left hand shot. It's finished to the right. But yeah, if you really want to push and get that birdie, you got to push that right side. See Rebecca turning it over a little bit much left to right there. Jessica with the hyzer flip and she's in the fairway. Beckett up first with a smooth putter up into the Boy. green. You've called it all around long. She's been super smooth with those up shots. Just expecting nothing else from her at this point, but utter smoothness. <laughs> and Rebecca Cox with another good layup. A bit too far to putt, Felix, going for the safe par play. You. Yeah, you don't want the rule Deanne Carey says, no oh. par for me. I'll take another birdie, another thank you. Birdie. Oh. Deanne's third birdie on the back nine. Putting her at nine under par. Still currently our leader as Rebecca Cox puts out here on the windy hole 15. Yeah. Nicely done. Putting uphill like that can always be so stressful. And the rest of the card tapping out their par putts. Yeah, only two birdies on the day. Deanne along with Paige Shu carding the two here on hole 15. Great job, Paige. Mm -hmm. As Jessica flies away to the next hole, which is hole 16, a par three at 282 feet. You see trouble there on the right hand side. The high grass is what you want to avoid. There's also some tall shoe on the left hand side just past that down log. And essentially you just want to throw a hyzering shot right to left, something that's going to get you down by this green. 
again, the sand and dirt here tends to catch and slow your disc down on approach. Deanne carry up first, sending it over the bushes, high, wide right, letting the disc swing into the green. Come on. She'll have about a 16 foot putt for birdie. It's a pretty looking disc. Is that a Sphinx? It is. Oh. It's a gift from Infinite, which I have really liked, but what I've learned is it doesn't have any integrity in the wind. Yes. So I uh, learned a lesson there on hole 16. Rebecca sends her shot, and that Ooh. started out a little too center cut, so mm -hmm. she'll be super left of the basket, but that's still a birdie putt. It is. She didn't quite get into trouble there on that left-hand side. Jessica sends it out right, which is what you want, but her disc needs to finish Ooh. harder. <clears throat> she'll be in those tall weeds on the right side, which is still a birdie putt. Yeah. Don't mind me, just going on an off-road adventure here. <laughs> Back in Narnia. Oh, yeah. There we go. Putting it right back by the bullseye. Jessica pitches up under the basket. I'll look for Rebecca. Good. That looked more like a run than a layup. It did, didn't it? Yeah. It looked like she was going for that one. Beautiful par putt there after finding yourself a little bit off the beaten path on your drive. A little too aggressive on that putt, Felix. <laughs> it caught, though. The that basket came in to do its job. Nice smooth putt from Jessica Beckett for her par. Damn for the turkey. And Carrie getting another bird. Three in a row so far. Four Currently on the back nine. At ten under for the round. Trying to stretch that lead a little bit here with just two holes left in this opening round. Let's take a look here at hole 17, a 258 foot par three. We've got a couple of gaps to choose from. I find the center middle gap to be the most inviting, or you have a nice uh, lazy hyzer if you wanna swing it right. Um, you could also try a little forehand gap. A lot of us are choosing mids or putters off the tee. Being a, such a short hole, this really feels like a birdie that you need to get here finishing out the round. You don't get the birdie, it kind of feels like you missed out on something. Deanne Carey up the middle. Looking perfect. Boy, oh boy. She's in the bullseye yet again. Yeah. Oh, just a bit wide there in that last tree clips your drive. Rebecca Cox hits the center gap, tracking right to the basket. CTP. Boy, oh boy, again. Three feet done. away. Yeah. It's a perfect shot. Beckett takes the center gap. Finishing left a little early. She'll have an outside the circle putt for birdie. I feel like that deserved a little better skip. I agree. Look at this beautiful approach shot here. Nicely Still done. Still didn't get as close as Rebecca. <laughs> Jumper oh. hits the cage. I just love the finishing move on her jump putt. Mm -hmm. And Deanne picking up another birdie Oof. like it's no big deal at all. Just rain and birdies. 11 down so far with one hole left. Birdie for Rebecca Cox, par for me, Holly Finley, and Jessica Beckett tapping in her par putt as we round out to the last hole here at Splinter City. What a round. Yeah, lots to see, lots of fireworks. Big thank you as always to our Patreon community. Check us out at patreon.com slash acerunpro. Become an ace runner for as little as $3 a month. 
extra content, bonus footage, early access, giveaways, quarterly and monthly. Check us out, become an Ace Runner. Alright, and we close things out here on hole 18, a par 4, 433 feet, a bit of a daunting tee shot here. This clump of trees in the middle forces you into decisions, left or right, so the right hand side is a little tighter but gives you a straighter line, the left hand side a little further away from the basket but gives you a wider chance to actually get up and down for the birdie. Interested to see how these ladies are going to attack this one off the tee, trying to get that last birdie to finish out this round. Deanne Carey choosing a distance driver off the tee, going for that right gap. It's going right, it's going right into the corner. <sighs> Just needed a bit of fade there at the end, didn't quite get it. And this is a par four, so Deanne is actually pretty close to the basket. If she can get a shot into the green, she can have a birdie look. Rebecca Cox up next, taking that left gap, which I would call more of the main fairway. Mm -hmm. She finishes in a good position that'll leave her a shot open into the green. So you're taking that left hand side as well. And that looks pretty good there. Beckett also opting for the left route. Hits the gap. Everyone in a good position. Oh, it's a tree kick and punches her back over to the left there. Okay. Becca with her verdict, I believe, here. Over stable mid-range. Oh, she sneaks by the tree. And she gets up there. That's a, that's a putt. That's going to be a putt, yeah. Right by the whisker. Missed that tree. Oh, still a good shot. Beautiful gap hit there. Deanne Carey with the longest drive. Punching across the fairway. Back to the left side. We'll have to see if she's obstructed. And there's Beckett being fast, as I was telling you in the front nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't get over there to capture the yeah. shot. So this is Deanne's third shot. And this is a par four, so she can easily just play the hole for par here and hang on to a great round. Like she she pitches it up. Oh, goodness. So close. Becca focusing in here. She had her focus goggles mm -hmm. on. Oh. oh, such a good bid there at the finish. Yeah. Deanne here to secure her par. Deanne Carey with an incredible round. 11 under par here at Splinter City. A new course record for the FPO division. Yeah. Beckett cleans up her par putt, as do I and Rebecca Cox. Yeah, Deanne with a scorching 10-12 rated round. And like you said, a new course record. Very impressive. Impressive scores all the way around. Holly with six down, Rebecca at five down. They'll be joining us again for round two. Jessica Beckett finishing even. Let's check out our top 10 leaderboard. After a fun first day here at Splinter City Disc Golf Course, check out Paige Shu tied with me in second place. Sandy Gass, mm -hmm. I know her from Florida and a lot of local names here in the Southeast area. It's so fun to see new names on the leaderboard. Hope to see you guys on the round two action. Appreciate you tuning in. Also liking, subscribing, checking out the Ace Run Pro, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All of it. We're all, all over of the it. place. <laughs>
Make sure you check out Holly Finley on her socials as well at O'Finale Finley. There you go. Big thank you as always to our Patreon community. Thanks so much guys for checking out the action. We will see you back here for round two.